Hello everyone, John Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're going to go over how to beat the hag in Boulder's Gate 3. Let's get started. Okay, first thing you should know before you start, spread out like your alchemist fire, your scrolls, anything that'll do like one damage, at least one damage when you throw it. Because the hag is going to do a lot of illusions, but the thing about her illusions are is that they can actually hit you. So basically she splits into four or five, I can't remember, and then one of her is the real one, and then the others are illusions, but you have to kill the illusions. And it only takes one damage, which is why you want alchemist fire, AoE spells, things like that. And then once they are defeated, you can then focus on the hag. Next big thing you got to do is hit that orange orb right there. I already did it, but that basically lowers the cage a little bit, and it still looks like it's on fire, but it's not. And if you're looking at the turn order like, dang, he's got a lot of hags left still, Unfortunately, I hit the other hag so hard, the actual hag, when she gets to 50%, she spawns more illusions. So I killed the illusions, then I really messed up the hag, and now I have illusions behind me, but I have shatter, so I'm not actually too worried about it. Last thing she will do, the gate will lower, the cage will lower, basically, and she will make an illusion of herself as the same individual, as uh, the woman in the cage. Now, from my experience... The one that screams is always the hag. I fought her like four times because I thought I was going to get a different choice. Uh, long story short, you don't. But what you do need to do is make sure you do very minimal damage. That's why I use uh, Asterion and his little bonus action 1d4 dagger to make sure that this one is the hag. Once you hurt either the hag or the real girl, it'll be revealed that one of them is the hag and one of them isn't. But the girl only has 8 HP. So you need to do something that's like a D4 max, which is why I did bonus action with the rogue because he doesn't get the extra, the extra damage. Or you can alternatively use an improvised weapon or throw like a cup or something at the character. Assuming that it actually hits, it will reveal that it is the hag. But be careful, you don't want to do a ton of damage. And as I said, just use your alchemist fire, acid vials, whatever does AOE one damage on these illusions. If you're lucky, Maybe two of them will be grouped up enough that you can hit them with a shatter. I never really have gotten that lucky. But still, even then, like, look, I'm, I'm going to use my shit. I, you do not want these illusions surviving. They do two things. Ray of Sickness, which really freaking hurts, or Hold Person. If your entire group is in Hold Person, they're all paralyzed and you're going to die anyway. So it doesn't matter if you have spell slots at that point because you're just going to die. So burn what you got, kill the illusions, then focus on the hag. All right, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw, got what you needed. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.